Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Steph and this is Ordinary Plant Girl. If you're new here, thank you for clicking on this video. And if you're returning, thank you so much for spending more of your time with me. Well, let's just get into it. I mean, I have favorites this month. Okay, I don't normally do favorites videos but I do enjoy watching them. So I figured, hey, why not? I do have favorites that I go through all of the time that I'm constantly looking at and why not just share them with you guys too. So today I picked five plants that I have laying around here. A couple of them you have probably never seen and I'm just gonna show you what my favorites are for the month and tell you why they are my favorites. So first off, I'm going to go with one that is actually a combination of two plants. I had taken some cuttings of two separate plants, put them together, and I absolutely love the way they look. So that one first is my Marble Queen Neon Pothos mix. So I do have both mother plants up here in the corner. Um, my Marble Queen Pothos is absolutely amazing. It is always one of my favorites. And the Neon Pothos as well is one of my favorites. My only issue that I have with the Neon is that I can't seem to get it to trail. It just wants to, it wants to grow upwards. And I'm not sure if that's because of the light over top of it. They all turn upwards, even though they're trailing. So that's fine. But with this plant here, what I had done was I had taken cuttings to fill the other plants because that's just what I've been doing. So when I took these propagations and I bunched them together, I thought that they looked really stunning together. So if you have the marbling from the Marble Queen and just that neon green from the neon, just to me, it makes it look so cool together in one pot or even this little cluster of leaves right over here. That's perfect. I love that. So that's one of the things that makes this plant just a favorite for me. And where it sits on the shelf, you can see that it's kind of all craning forward, which is fine. Um, I've, I've got no problems with that whatsoever, but I do think that the mix looks amazing together. So that is why this one is one of my favorites. Plant number two is also of the vining variety, and that is my Epipremnum Sebo Blue. So this plant I got as a, I think it was a four leaf cutting, maybe five, and I cut it into three pieces and propagated it. I did keep cutting it to propagate it. Some of them lived, some of them didn't. I even think I traded a piece of one, but it's now finally like actually getting some trailing going down there. And it's just such an easy plant. And what I wanna do is, I'm trying not to cut any of my trailing plants for like three months, like actually letting them grow out for three months before I give them all a haircut. I'm gonna try and do the same thing with this one, but I do wanna take a piece and try and have it climb and see if I can get those um, big fenestrated leaves, but that's a side project. So again, this is another one that I'm just constantly trying to fill and it sits on the bookshelf same level as the pothos. Um, so it's just, it's kind of all careening forward and I love that look for it. But it's such an easy plant. It survives being dry. Um, it doesn't seem to have any issues being overwatered. At least I don't think I'm overwatering it. I do have one leaf that's dying here, but that's okay. Besides that, I don't really lose any off of this plant. And I just love the blue, the bluey silver color of it. I'm always looking at it. It just, the both of them on that shelf um, look amazing together. I'll have to take a picture of it and kind of post it on my Instagram so that you can see it. But they just, they are just two of my favorites. The first of this month and also the just in general, two favorites of mine. So those are the two pothos. The next one is one that you never see and probably didn't even know that I had unless you have me on Instagram. And that is my philodendron red emerald. 
this plant has been is it is it is can you say that it's been a joy to grow oh, it's been a joy to grow uh i do think i'm gonna put this one on a pole though because it is where it sits it is kind of leaning up against the wall just to kind of keep it straight but i do have more moss poles coming and i'm thinking that this would be just perfect on a pole um it asks, literally asks for nothing. Absolutely nothing. I'm, the growth pattern so far, considering it's just grown straight up, which is awesome without a pole, because sometimes with these type of philodendrons, they'll kind of grow a little wonky. That's another reason why I have not cut this plant at all. Maybe what I'll do is once it grows off the pole, I will air layer it and repot into the bottom of the plant just so that we have kind of a, a bushier specimen but i don't even think i don't even think i've lost a leaf off this plant i mean the new growth that's come out is a bit smaller but that has happened since i repotted it i don't even remember when i repotted it it was a while ago i think it was back in the summer um i repotted this plant and then the last three leaves that it's given me have just they've kind of been smaller but that's okay the fact is is it continues to grow and because it continues to grow it is one of my favorites it asks for nothing nothing at all and it's another one that completely survives being dry um i try not to let any of my plants really go bone dry but if it does it, it never shows me that it's upset about it at all. So that is my philodendron red emerald. Plant number four. Ooh. We're gonna do another philodendron and this one, we all know how much I love this plant. We all know that, well, maybe not all of you, but most of you know that I do have three of them, but I do have to say that the third time is a charm. So this one is my Philodendron Gloriosum. Now, why is the third time the charm? Because you can see right here, this leaf that is coming out is everything to me. So I've had a couple of issues with Gloriosums. The first one that I got, which is currently rehabbing yet again, because I don't know what she wants. It's my, my baby G. Um, it just, it lost all its leaves. All of them. It is now back to just being a, a little stump. And if you saw what I went through the first time, this was just a stump. <sighs> this would be so sad. It was growing so well until I took it out of high humidity and everything was just pretty much downhill from there. So now it's back in a prop box and we're hoping it survives. Philodendron Gloriosum number two. I mean, it's all right. Lo again, that one lost it, all of its leaves too. Tiny little thing. It's grown four or five of them back, but they're really, really little. Now that one, I had to move from too much light into a lower light situation, and I'm hoping that that works. But this one, this one I got not that long ago in my last mystery box from North Shore Tropicals that I purchased. It came with these original two leaves, and I had so much hope, and so far, so good. I haven't lost a leaf. The leaf that's coming out looks like it's gonna be a decent size compared to the rest of the plant. Uh, it's still in the moss. I think that might've been one of my mistakes with the other two was just transplanting them before they were ready to be transplanted. Um, but this is still in the moss that I got it in. And it's, it's happy. I've got it in a lighting situation that apparently it likes. 
So why is this a favorite? Because it's thriving right now. The Gloriosum is kind of an all-time favorite, but this one of the three, and I'm, I'm always going to work to get the other two going too. Um, but this is like, this just gives me all the joy and a feeling of Gloriosum self-worth. So that is plant number four for my favorites, the Philodendron Gloriosum. Now my last plant. This is no surprise to a lot of you. My Anthurium journey started March of last year and I have now accumulated many. Um, I've, I've got a few, nine, 10, can't remember, not counting right now. Um, but this one is, was the first one that stole my heart and it is forever going to be that way. And it is my Anthurium Magnificum. I, there's just nothing that I can say. I've had this almost a year. March, it'll be a year that I've had this Anthurium. And has it been slow growing for me? Mm, yeah, in some ways. Uh, we've gone through a couple of transitions, but the first leaf it gave me in my care decapitated itself. The second leaf it gave me was this one right here. And despite the hole, I love it anyway. But this was the second leaf it gave me in my care. The third leaf it gave me in my care is currently this one here, which is still not quite hardened off yet. Um, but it's, I don't even think it's going to be as big as this one. I don't think so. But we'll wait and see what happens. And uh, it's just, I love this plant so much. Oh crap, what did I do there? Please do not be a growth point that I just like poked. No, probably not. Um, but yeah, this, this plant, as far as my Anthurium journey has gone, it hasn't been too bad. I'm still learning about them. I'm still really new to this genus of plant, but this one just makes me think that I can do anything with anthuriums. I know it's not true. Trust me, I know it's not true, but it does make me think that I could pretty much do anything with them. Um, I mean, I've got two Magnificum Crystallinum crosses. I have got four Magnificum Ace of Spades crosses and they're, you know, doing their thing. I have quite a few things that are actually crossed with the Magnificum. I love the Magnificum. I do. I mean, what is not to love? I am learning though that they are not, uh, they're not highlight. These guys for me, not highlight, even though my grow lights are just, in most cases, they're just grow light bulbs, um, that I got off Amazon. My plants seem to love them. That's all fine and good, but still. My, my velvety plants, I have slowly moved all of them away from a highlight situation. Bright light, yes. Highlight, no. So this plant has got so many gorgeous roots going on in there. And I know that it is not ready for a repot yet. It's gonna be in here for some time, but it is definitely, definitely one of my favorites for the month. So that's just, that's just where I'm at with my favorites. Um, I can't guarantee that I'm going to be a every month favorite type person, but I can say that I will let you see my favorites when I have kind of enough to show, you know what I mean? But yeah, so that is my short video for today. I've been filming a lot today and I just wanted this one to be short 
and sweet. And I hope you are all safe and well. Please like and consider subscribing to my channel. Comment below. I love talking to you and I will see you in the next video. Bye.